Alrighty, in this video we're going to take a look at how to open up the inventory in the Ultimate Crafting System by using a key press instead of this UI button here. So this is a pretty simple script. In essence, all that we need to do is toggle this internal inventory object on and off. If I hop over to the scene view here and toggle it on and off, you see that it does indeed appear. So we just need a script that accesses this little checkbox here. So let's hop over to the character and add a new script here. We will add a new script and call it, say, inventory opener. Create and add. And then double click on it to open it in your text editor of choice. Let me zoom in a little bit here. We do not need the start event because everything will be happening as the game is running instead of on start. First thing we need to do is check if a key has been pressed. Easiest way to do this is just to do if input.getKeyDown and stick in, say, keycode.e in this case. E is a nice accessible letter and pretty common for inventories. And then if it is already active, set it to inactive. And if it is inactive, set it to active. So the method that we have available for this is the set active method, but we don't really have anything to use it on quite yet. We don't know what object to use it on. So let's add a game object field. We'll call this inventory object with no space. And that will let us set it in the editor with drag and drop. So now we can take that inventory object and call set active on it. Set active just toggles that checkbox that we saw earlier. And we're going to set it to active if it is inactive and inactive if it is active. And this set active method takes a true or a false value, a bool. So we can actually do this in one step by saying not, exclamation point means not in C sharp, inventory object dot active self. Active self is the current status of the checkbox on the object. And so if it is not active, then we set active to true. If it is active, then we set active to false. And that is actually all that we need to get this working. So let's hop back into Unity here and hop over here. Right now, inventory object is none. Let's go ahead and drag internal inventory onto that. And it just pops right in. And now entering play mode, if you hit E, it indeed appears. And hitting E again, turns it off. And it works in combination with the UI button as well. So that was a pretty simple uh, rudimentary way of handling this. There are, of course, more robust ways that you can go about it. And that is, in fact, what we will cover in the next video. If you'd like to see that, go ahead and check out the description for the link to it. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. This video, in fact, was requested by a user. So if you have any confusion on how to do anything, go ahead and ask, and we'll do our best to go ahead and make that for you. Until next time.